Hey everyone, it's Wolfron here, and PvP scanning is now here. We've had the big update, a lot of content. I've talked about you know what was coming in the previous videos, uh, but the reality of it here being here is uh, awesome. I've had a lot of fun already figuring out how the PvP scanning works. I haven't gone out and done the Dead Space scanning yet, the Nihilus Space scanning, um, because I'm just really happy that the um, PvP is. Uh, something that isn't just gate camps um, and, and, it's a, and it's a viable option so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk through just one thing that happened to me um, shortly before you see the battle scars on my cinnabol um, from what was a pretty awesome battle and unfortunately I just didn't capture the video um, and so uh, you can see I'm going to take it out so you can see the damage done to it uh, no we're not going to repair the ship I'm sure it's going to cost me a small fortune to repair. Uh, and as you can see, I was, I was, what's that, a third of my hull left, quarter of my hull left. Uh, it was close. Um, so I'm going to, in this video, explain how PvP scanning works. Um, I'm going to take you through the steps for it, how you can hunt targets, give you some tips. I'm going to show you... Um, some of the I've got I've got a capture video of some of the kills um, at the end of this video, uh, but first I'm going to skip there tell you about this little story because I just it was just good fun, uh, and I you know I fully respect the pilot uh, who I had a fight against, um, as I do with everyone. You know this is part of the game. It's fine. It, it, low sec is just not safe anymore, uh, except on gates and stations. Everywhere else it is dangerous and there's a lot going on and it's a lot of fun. Um, as I said, I haven't got the footage, so first thing I'm going to show you my fit for the Cinnabol so you can understand. I was experimenting with a new fit, so I'm just the C-type autocannons. Um, I have two Kalandari Navy Warp, and the reason for that is they give a long optimal range, uh, a long range on the Warp Disruptor. I'm carrying two of them. I'm having a debate about whether I need to carry two. Maybe that I should put a web or something else, or... I need to have a think about it. If anyone's got any tips on this fit, by all means, I am experimenting. This is the PVP scanner. I'm using a Mark 9, there are Mark 7s, and there are also uh, green ones, Mark Metal Level 5 and Metal Level 8 um, scanners. They are expensive, this one. They were very expensive yesterday, and today they are much less expensive. <laughs> there were hundreds and hundreds of millions. Um, so you know, 45 million is still a lot for a module. Um, so I've got one of those that needs fuel. Um, I'm running a micro warp drive because uh, part of the mechanics do cause me that you sometimes have to have quite a large distance to close for your target. I've got a battery fitted. Uh, as you see, I've gone for all tanks. So I've got two shield extenders and a shield hardener. Um, it's been a pretty effective fit, uh, and I just need to talk through what happened as I, I scanned this thorax down um, and I jumped right on top of him, warped him and he was a bait ship. Um, so he locked me down as you can see he had webs and disruptor in fact I stayed away I, I'm all bit about 15 to keep out of web and scram range with the micro warp drive so actually the disruptor I'm not too worried about the web it's not a huge problem with micro warp drive because even if it's on I've got about 3k um, three I'm at three kilometers a second on the Cinnabol with micro warp drive activated um, and so he I didn't take very long uh, to take him down but whilst I was taking him down it was enough time for him either he's a multi-boxer or a teammate to bring in his tornado too and this proved to be quite a difficult I mean I thought I was dead um, I've got to be honest with you um, I thought it was all over and done with two large shield extenders he had a medium cap battery um, and uh, the web and the scram and I was orbiting at 15 but with the micro warp drive you know you get slightly because of my speed it's not a perfect orbit and obviously I got too close, or he got close enough to me at one point. He is running a um, medium micro drive, so I don't think he could close the distance. 
But anyway, he closed it enough to, to drop the, the scram and the web on me. And that took my speed down to 200 metres a second. And I thought I was done for. Because he was all cannon fit. And he was started to slowly tear through um, my, uh, my shields uh, and my armour. So I actually thought it was over and done with and I was going to have to throw up a good fight in local uh, and accept my fate. Um, well, what actually happened was I orbited him as close as I could. He clearly struggled even with the auto cannons to hit me at two kilometers at 200 meters a second because the orbit is tight. Um, so he was slowly chipping away. But I was doing a fair amount of damage to him as well, even though he had a sh large shield extenders and two red um, adaptives. But I imagine my experience with tornadoes is they have real cap problems. Um, in fact, let's just see what his rigs are. Yes, he's got a auxiliary power grid to get it, I assume, to get some of the large stuff onto the ship. But he hasn't got any cap rigs. I uh, know he's built for speed, no, built for orbiting. Okay, um, and as I was chipping away, as soon as I got rid of his shields, then the Cinderbolt does serious damage to the armour and hull. And it was close run, as you can see from the damage, it was close run. But in, in fact, I got the kill. Uh, and just to add insult to injury, he obviously reshipped his the other one reshipped back into uh, an interceptor, which tried to also take me down. Um, but again, I was able to take them down and pick up some decent loot <laughs> um, because yeah I got some you know including my prophecy a prophecy hell or orange skin um, and, and that's something even though he had me locked down with a, a scram and a, and a web so I've still got the same problem I can still turn quickly and if you can do that you can actually hit an orbiting interceptor even if they're going quite quickly um, and whether you try to break away or whatever but it took him out. So that was a good fight. It was, you know, it was a bit of a roller coaster of emotions. But there we go. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. I'm going to repair this for the horror, horrifying fee of 13 million isk. Um, and we're going to do some scanning. So if you missed the story, by all means, I understand that. I'll have time stamped everything anyway in the video. And we're going to show you how scanning works. Whilst we're flying, I'm just going to go through some basics uh, as to the scanning, so you just so understand it. These mods don't take very much power grid. Uh, we'll show the activation time. They need fuel. I just forgot to go outside to go back to G to pick up the fuel. So it doesn't take very much, 200 gigajoules per use. Um, I've picked up, I've got 99 there, so I've just got 172 plasmoids, so it's just one and a bit plasmoids effectively um, per use. So even though I can basically run, uh, even if that's half, I've got plenty to run um, the scanner on. So that's fine. You don't need a huge amount of fuel. Don't need plasmoids if you don't use something else cheaper if you want. Um, that's fine. I just had these actually from a previous kill, so I looted. So um, I'll show you how the scanning actually works, but some things that you need to know about your ship and the ships you're scanning. Um, because you need some skills. Uh, and they're in natural science, exploration, and I'm 5-4 in space, exploration. And uh, what it gives you is uh, the signal load. We'll talk about signal load in a moment. Um, you do need more. Uh, and we're looking at the narrow resonance scanner. Scan radius is minus 18%. So that's the size of ship you can find. So that's to do that you can find smaller ships. So the higher your skills, you're better at finding smaller ships. So the smallest ship I can find is 170 meters scan radius. The smallest ship I'll find that won't get notified that I found them is 261. So that's what those two stats mean. It's important that you know the difference um, is that your minimum scan radius is the smallest you'll find. So that you, you'll find some frigates and, and things like that. Uh, the scan radius 261 is the smallest you'll find without being detected. Um, now, if I look at no, thought it was in here, and I may may be wrong. 
So my source radius there is 221 meters. So if I was scanning me, I'd be under my scan radius and um, I'd get a notification that I've been scanned down. It's quite good running the Cinnable for that. Um, you can find in, in ship information those things, source radius 221, that's what you need to know. Um, so some ships uh, will have very small, like frigates will have very small source radiuses and other ships will have absolutely enormous source radiuses. Um, so if we just um, go look at my, some of my ships. So the Atron Interceptor, see the source radius is 132, so I can't find it. I, I won't be able to scan it down, um, because my minimum source radius is 170. Now you can get ships that pay bonuses, the covert ops frigates get bonuses to scan, and so you get all the benefits. So I'm only talking about PVP scanning, the, the red um, scanner. Uh, whereas if you compare it to a, a battleship, it's all very 458. So I can scan them down and they'll have no idea that I've scanned them down. If you look at the stab of fleet issue, source radius is a 243. So they won't know that I've scanned them down. It's borderline on mine. But that's to do with skills. Uh, and like the Thorax prototype, they definitely won't know I've scanned them down. So um, it's important to know generally but all that's going to happen is, is when you'll see when I do the scanning, um, we're in a system here, you'll see when I do the scanning, um, it tells you the ship type. So you generally know if someone's been notified that you're coming for them. Um, it's an easy module to use. You can't be cloaked. So if you're using covert ops ship, you have to decloak. I do it sitting on the gate because the only places safe in low sec are gates and stations with the gate guns. Other than that, people can scan you down and find you. So let's go have a look at see how it works. You click this, it activates, it's quick activation time, and it'll scan, and it'll give you this two signal waves detected, tap here to check them out in the star map. If you leave this star map at this point, you'll have to do that process again. It doesn't take very long, but just bear in mind, if you leave it, it'll do that process again. And what it does, it gives you signal one, signal two, so there's two signals I can scan down in this system. And the important thing is you want to check where those signals are, because I've already made this mistake. With a crime timer, I scanned down and flew to a signal that was on a gate. So if they're on a gate or on a station, don't bother, because you're going to get blown up if you engage them, because you become a criminal. So um, we've got two here. There's one just off this anomaly. It sort of sometimes glitches between the two. And there's one in this belt. So I can click them up here, and I can look at the signature that way. Or I can click it here and look at the signature that way. To find that, to be able to warp to it, you need to click Analyze Signal Sources. So I click on that and uh, it shows you this. This is a broken up signal pattern. And you have to, I have to, ex I get, the, if you have lower skills, you'll have exclude one noise signal. If you exclude the right noise signal, you'll find the pattern. But the smaller a ship is, the harder it is to get it right. With higher skills, definitely I've got the two noise signals. It makes it much easier to do. So you've got to look at this and go, well, what looks like one of these could be part of that pattern? Um, and I find like, so that looks, that could be there. And if it does that, see, and then, like, then this one looks the same as this one. So if I exclude those two, there you go. I've scanned down this ship and it's a venture. He will have had a, a notification, but let's go do it anyway because why not? So you just click on warp, it'll warp you. Now, this is always really important because I've been finding this as a problem when you're hunting people. It warps you to zero, if you warp to zero, of the anomaly or the belt. It doesn't warp you to zero of where the enemy ship is. So he got a notification I was coming and he's gone. That's fine. Uh, let's go back to the Stargate. Uh, again, because I don't want to be sitting out in the middle of nowhere. Tough for people to scan me down, but someone might. I don't want to get jumped. Um, there's quite a lot of people in the system right now. Obviously, don't go to a Stargate or a station with a crime timer. Um, then you have to either put yourself into a safe spot or do something. But keep an eye on it because you can't log out with your crime timer either. 
your, your ship will remain there and it can be now refound. So I didn't get that guy. I'm going to do it again. A small fleet of people arriving. No single waves detected. Let's go check out a different system. I'm going to show you a couple of these. So even though there's five in local, it says no single waves detected. That means they're either in the, they're probably in the station, but that means I can't find them. Um, I assume also that means they could be in a gravity well, a nihilist space gravity well, because again, you can scan those down with a gravity well scanning, not with these scanning. This finds ships and structures only. Um, no point scanning in this system because there's no one here. I should take myself into a. There's no point doing it in high sec. She can't do anything in high sec. Should check out where I am. Oh, yeah, so I'll, I'll run that little loop there. And what you'll find with the signal waves is harder ships. Like that venture was surprisingly easy to find. Generally, the frigates uh, and the and the ships, some of the ships are harder to find, and it means that you'll often find real struggle to exclude the right wave, and then you'll fail. And you just won't get it. That's fine. I just move on to the next signal target. Um, okay, a couple of people. Uh, one of them's blue. Obviously, I'm not going to. But let's see if we can scan. There's going to be people moving through systems and things like that. They do get picked up on the scanning. Um, again, I've just got to move so I can take the cloak off and start scanning. Let's see what it throws up. So I've got. So this is where you've got to be careful. There's one signal, it's over here. I'm just going to zoom in because actually, at first, you might have thought it was on the base, but it's on the station. So it's someone sitting outside the station, it's flicking between the two. Now I haven't got a crime timer. So I'm going to scan it. Checking out where it is, I'm going to scan it. I can fly to it. If it had a crime timer, I'd be reluctant because I don't know how close they are to this, to the guns. So I would be careful. And let's see if we can find them. So again, this pattern is a little bit harder, but it looks like it matches probably... I'm going to go with this pattern actually, mostly because this one's got that slight difference. Let's see if I. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so it might be. No, I've got it wrong. And you see, what signal load is, is the amount of times you can click on one of these. So, two noise signals, I can, you know, I can figure out which one it is. So, I've got something wrong here. And you just have to, you just have to work your way through it. Sometimes you get it wrong, sometimes you get it right. There you go. So I had enough signal load. It's a Vex and Navy issue. All right. Um, I'm going to warp to 30. Just, just tap hold and drag if you want the warp to. Um, that is not the easiest of mechanics to deal with. Um, the warping to, as I said, you warp to 30 kilometers off whatever it is that they're doing. So they're doing a story mission, Quake Legion. I know that that's one of the news missions. They might have got a notification. I don't know if Vex and Navy to get them. I'm right on him. Orbit. Let's see if he starts flying back. Orbiting too close. You see, I do a bit more damage as soon as I move away. So I'm too close, it affects my own tracking. He's now locked me. That's fine. And 
and down he goes. So that person was running a news mission. Not bad loot as well. So, I mean, that's how scanning works. I could I could find them, hunt them down. Uh, do this on a elite wrecked pickup. So now I've got a crime timer. Uh, I have a crime timer for ten minutes. So that means if I go to a station or a gate, I will be shot. Um, and so you do have to be careful. I should have really checked how close the planet was, because a couple of planets you'll find are actually quite close to stargates. Um, now, it could be a case that someone's going to start come hunt me. They could do. I don't actually know if they're the same corp. Um, let's check it out. Not the same corp, same with the same alliance, isn't it? Um, okay, so th I mean that shows you how the scanning works and how you hunt them down. One of the points I want to make is positioning matters when you are. Um, if I can just show you on the solar system map. Not close enough. So we now can see on the solar system map, that's where the scanning takes place. Um, where That's where I scanned the person down. I can't quite see what planet, where's one of the, I'm on one of these planets, aren't I? No. My point is, is this if I was you know, sitting here? I'd actually just say the problem, problem is you just don't know where you're sitting. If I'm sitting here and I'm going to warp to him here, then the problem I have is if I warp to 30, I warp to 30 off this side, but he could be 30 kilometers on the other side of the anomaly and therefore he'll be 60 away from me. If I warp to 100, I'll be 100 here, but if he's on the other side, he could be 200 kilometers away. And that, you know, it was a bit of RNG in terms of that. I mean, in that one, I just landed right on top of him. Just so happened to be that way. It hasn't been. I've landed on things and they're 200 kilometers away. So there's something to bear in mind in terms of your positioning and warp to, especially when fleets warp to you. Um, that's something you've got to bear in mind uh, in terms of the fleets uh, warping to you because they, they don't warp to you. If if, my, if this, they're warping to this ship, then they warp... In, I'm in an anomaly, they're warping to within 30 kilometers of the anomaly, not 30 kilometers of my ship. Um, and so that can lead to some difficulties. We've already lost a Dominix because of that. Not lost a Dominix, we, we found a Dominix, um, but we couldn't hold it because everyone ended up warping into different locations, which are really far away. Um, so it's something to bear in mind uh, when you're doing it. This is me solo roaming. I'm now going to show some um, footage of. Uh, me doing it with multi-boxing two in a different setup and I'll talk through that setup differently but this is how I'm using my symbol at the moment. If anyone's got any tips on the fit by all means let me know uh, and then we'll cut to the next video, uh, next section of the video which is um, doing it with different ships. So I've just located myself a prophecy. Uh, I'm going to jump in I think 40. I'm a bit worried about taking a prophecy on because of the drones. Warp drive active. Set my orbit like 16, and we'll have to experiment. I'm 
for me not moving. There we go. So he's got his drones out. Doesn't look like he's paying attention to me. Okay, scrammed. It's not doing some damage. The point of orbiting at this range is I want to stay out of scram and webs to keep my speed high. I've got decent leeway with these scrams, still locking me. So is a. Uh, I'm sure his drones will be here in a second. He's going to take a lot more on the. So I'm going to have to orbit a little bit tighter. Let's see if we can take the risk. And he's still only yellow boxing me. There, red box. Here come the drones. Let's see. I'm pretty fast and I'm pretty tanky. Yep. This is why I'm running shield extenders on this fit. Chipping through them, that's all right. I'll pop the next one. Just now, this case of just surviving long enough to take him down. see what we got. He's already walked away. He obviously was trying to warp. That's some decent loot. Uh, and this time I'm going to go sit on the sun. Warp drive active. And was that if someone warps in from the same direction, it just gives space. Uh, keep an eye on it. But so now I've got a crime timer, uh, and I'm just going to show you. I can still scan. I can still hunt. But I just can't go near a station. Can't go near a gate. So you do have to be. You have to pay attention to what you're scanning. But as I said, I've made the mistake, and I'm sure there's going to be lots of people making the same mistake, thinking they've got someone. There's only one signal. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's have a look. Um, could be this one. Oh yeah, that seems to have narrowed it down to this. No. That must be this. That's another prophecy. And prophecies do make me nervous because they are tanky. And the drones can kick out a lot of damage. And I've got my approach still set to something stupid. 
and then now I've got the rats on me as well. So this might have been a bad idea. We'll see. Okay, they're engaged. So even at a decent range, I'm doing damage. I've got to the scrams and they could have got away. Still not even targeting me. Yep, just about. You realise they've realised now. Yellow boxed. But you can see I've already taken them down half armour. Red boxed. Here come the drones. I'm not going to do anything until I take damage. Drones are slow, They're taking slow, long time to come get me. Look at that, not even on me yet. Just gonna pop a shield extender. Oh, a bit of armor repair going on. Gonna zoom in for the kill. Down they go. Oh, someone else detected me. And I'm disappearing. So, someone else is hunting. Good luck to them. And I'm just going to set myself back up again. Again, I've got a 10 minute timer to work way out. <laughs> 